this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the pre-market game plan for Tuesday, June 26th. It is 8.18 a.m. Eastern Time. In a few minutes, I'll be heading to the Hyatt in downtown Boca Raton for day two of the Power Income Futures Day Trading Class. But before that, let's get started with the market. Right now, the mini Dow is down about 26.0.11% on the day. Yesterday, we did have a flurry to the downside. Uh, we tapped onto the 200 moving average, double bottom from this prior uh, pivot low from May 29th, and we have moved lower into another area of support at the 24,100 from prior price action. Let's see what we have going on for the trading day today. And by the way, yesterday we had an amazing day. We shorted and then we went long uh, at the reversal. Beautiful. 180 reversal here on the one hour chart right into the end of the trading day all right so let's see what the overnight price action has in store for us we da we have support at 24 to 217 and we have resistance at 350 we also have resistance at 380 and resistance at 24 400 so here's what i expect for the trading day today at least for immediate action 24,220 is going to be our next level of support. If the price is going to manage to trade above 270, I may look for a long continuation into the 24,300, and the next target is going to be into the 24,350, as long as the support level is going to hold. If this support level is going to be breached and we have tried the overnight trading set in the overnight trading session to hold this level of support right here into the 220, uh, if if 200 level is going to be breached, we will see another flurry to the downside to the 24100, and further targets are going to be 24070, 24050, 24. 970 so that's going to have a larger trajectory to the downside so this is going to be key right here so we're pretty much setting up for a continuation higher however if we breach the 220 we will see a reversal going lower uh, as for uh, uh, today as for yesterday keep in mind navigate a little bit more towards higher time frames because the two the, the really really small time frames are going to be extremely choppy all right let's continue with the mini in mini s p 500 which is down two points on the day 0.08 percent all right let's move forward so far we do have support that is holding at 27.13 this is going to be a key area to watch for today's price action. I will be looking for a continuation higher if we break over 27.22. It's not going to be very easy to be to the long side or to the short side today <clears throat> because of the overnight price action and the way it is setting up. But if we break above 27.20, we may have room for a continuation higher into the 27.23 and a half and then another continuation higher back into the 2727 zone. If 2727 is going to be uh, taken out, uh, then we may look for a higher con for uh, another continuation higher into the 2735 to 2740 zone. So this is going to be the wide tradable void for a continuation to the upside. As long as this level is going to be unbreached the 2729 zone, we may still look for a continuation lower on a break of 2714. So 2714 is going to be taken out. We will be looking for a continuation lower back into the 2700 back again. Keep in mind that the daily chart still have support, still still trading on support from the 50 uh, simple moving average and also from this prior pivot high, which forms the shelf of support. This is actually minus support right here, and the reversal may occur at this point. So we pretty much we have an indecision bar as of right now in the mini S&P and we're very, very neutral. Let's move on to NASDAQ. NASDAQ was one of the weakest indices and we do have a little bit of divergence. Uh, right now, NASDAQ is green. On the day, it had the uh, most descent in yesterday's trading session. So far, we tapped onto a minor support level, totally expected, as mentioned in the pre-market game plan, 
uh, we have the 7,000 level that was tested and we have reversed from that level. It was one of the, the most aggressive reversals f so far in all of these E-minis. Uh, support we have at 740. Uh, alternate support we have at uh, uh, 7057. And we have a new level of support that is developed here into the uh, 7068. If we break above the 7087, we may see a continuation higher into the 7100. And then we have a pretty consistent tradable void all the way into the 7150 zone, 7140 to 7150. So 7140 lock and some profits as you're getting uh, as you're getting close to 7050. To the short side, if we break below 7040, then we may look for a continuation lower back into the 7000, and we may actually have room to continue lower into the 6970 and 6960. Let's move on to Russell. Russell is down only 2.6 points on the day, 0.16%. And as you can see, it pretty much broke the overnight trade, uh, uh, broke the early level of support from the overnight uh, overnight price action, right, a lot, right around 11, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 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 11 um, p.m. Eastern. Uh, we are coming into a reversal. We came in actually into a reversal back into the 16, uh, 1657. And um, I would leave Russell alone for today. Um, if we, and uh, let's check out the four hour chart here. Um, actually, Russell needs to prove uh, that it may, uh, that it can continue over the 1667 before continuing higher. So it has a little bit more prep to do before the market opens. So this is gonna be the area that it totally needs to take out. This is gonna be extremely aggressive here. If you wanna take it over 60, stop 57, only three points stop for a day trade uh, with a target into 65, but it's gonna be very painful because it's one of the weakest uh, indices right now. Uh, chart pattern wise and uh, not necessarily, and, oh, and percentage wise as well. Uh, let's check uh, gold. Gold, like I said, uh, I don't have a strong bias for a trade in gold. We did have uh, the flurry down in the overnight trading session, strong flurry down in the overnight trading session. Let me just point out the overnight trading session. Here's the overnight trading session. There is support at 1255. Uh, 1255 is going to be an area of interest for uh, me because we may see reversals off the 12.55 and even off the 12.45. So I'm gonna have patience uh, to wait for these levels to be tapped on before I take any trading decision. Uh, as of right now, I don't have a bias for gold. I don't have a trade in gold and uh, I don't see a trade in gold happening right now. Um, and I'm looking for a swing trading perspective. All right, let's move on to oil. Oil basing very bullishly. Uh, yesterday it flurried higher. It tapped onto exactly into our resistance area. So uh, this was uh, the target zone, target reach, 69.40, done. Uh, right now we have the pullback. First, we breached the 68.15, okay? So we came in lower. Uh, at three o'clock and in the overnight trading session, we really pinched a little bit. Keep in mind that today, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, we had the EIA, uh, the a I'm sorry, the API oil inventory numbers. And tomorrow we have the EIA oil inventory numbers that are coming in at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So we do have support right now at uh, 67.72. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna go to the four hour chart and let's just put some more data here. Let's go 90. All right. So uh, today I will be looking for a break above uh, the 68.50. Six, a break over 68.50 may bring more buyers uh, that may take the price into the $69 and possibly into the $69.23. Um, and Based on the one hour chart, you can see it's a little sloppy, but it, oil really needs to, to trade over this 55 zone, clear the area. So this is not a case of, okay, I'm gonna buy it here at support, okay? Because it may still, you don't have any confirmation, so it may still come in lower. 
So uh, I have to wait for the confirmation over 55 or 60 for a continuation higher into the, uh, into the 69. And uh, on that trigger into the 60, I will look for a risk based on the 15 minute chart for a continuation higher into the 69 and possibly into the 69, 20 to 25. This is all for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow for another um, free market game plan. This time live broadcast from the Hyatt. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful trading day.